Good morning, guys. Oh, Welcome cool. to today's video. So today we this are at Michael's. We're at Michael's. This and this is right. Finn's color. I love these colors. Right. I think I need okay. fake glitter. You think you need fake glitter? Okay. So I need to get glitter. Okay. Like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for the ponies, the minis hooves. I okay. can put so, like walk, like get stuff that'll on their hooves. I could put stuff on their hooves, and then I can put glitter on them. Okay, so good morning Definitely and welcome to today's video. Today, Sophie and I are starting today's video off at Michael's, the craft store, because Sophie is, did you find it on TikTok? Yeah. So she found something on TikTok and she's super excited to start like another crafty kind of thing. We are not crafty people <laughs> under any stretch of the imagination, but we like to like dabble in it. Better, I have to get this stuff. Out of all this glitter, I like that stuff. I like this one. I like that and stuff too. Is that glitter? Yeah, this is all glitter. Wow, it's so Except fancy. Okay. okay, so let's go. Stop getting distracted. Yeah, getting stop better. getting distracted. Wait, she says. These are perfect. For Those what are... you may ask, I have no clue. These are perfect, but she doesn't know for what. But look, you can get colored ones, and each color can hold, hold a different thing. Sophie has so many craft stuff that she does. $24. Twenty-four dollars. Will she Stuff do it? So Will she buy it? I found something I need. All right, found something she needs. I okay, I actually want one of those too. I, want that one. Oh, I like the white one too. I really actually want one of those, but our house is so small. We don't have room for it's that yet. It's small, mommy. It's small. No, it's actually tall, but I think it would be like so much better than what we have now. Okay, let's stop being I love those. Okay, bill lit journals. Where I need this. Look up there. Where? Right there. There's one open. Oh. I, would use I like the white one better, but these are kind of cool. This is different than the white one. Yeah. I want it. Yeah, I like that too. How much is that? Oh, look. There's the white one. There's a white one. I this like one that one. Wheels. Yeah, I like ones with wheels. Okay. We still haven't found yeah, what we're looking for. So this is what they do. They hide them. And then you get distracted, and then you look at everything else. Yeah, I know, I like scissors too. Sophie wants to do journaling, and usually they're all right here. These are like the journaling stickers and stuff that you use to journal. See how cute that is? All right, so we don't know where they are, but I think they probably moved them to another area of the store because it's January, and January is when everybody journals. Oh my gosh. I could get this and stick it onto my pony. Well, because they fall off. Yeah, it falls off. Super fancy paper. Yeah, like this stuff looks really cool. Oh, that's neat. You know how you'd make that? You'd just get like cardstock and then glue sparkles on it. Excuse me, do you have any journals? Um, all of our journals would be in like with the sketch pads. So with the, in aisle like 12-ish. Okay, thank you so yeah. much. All right, aisle 12. Ooh. Sophie wants to know, how do you tell what aisle it is? Oh, a mouse. Aww. Adorable. Are there any platypuses? Uh, no. no, but there's a unicorn. That's a weird looking unicorn. Yeah, it's cute. Look at the ch chihuahua. Uh, <laughs> what? We made it halfway to aisle 12. Glue. Glue. We found them, aisle 13. All right, so, <laughs> sketch pads, and that's it. Normally this store has a massive pile of journals. Tell them what you're looking for. Billet journal. She wants a billet journal. So she saw it on TikTok, how you can billet journal. And when the girls were young and we first started homeschool, I tried to get them into billet journaling. Mm -hmm. Gabby's not super crafty, What's this? but she's good at crafts. Sophie and I. Oh man. Like, look at this is Canada. This is Canada, guys. Hey, there's more down here. Why didn't you tell me? These are just drawing pads. Dang it. That one's so pretty. At this point, I'm almost like tempted to just buy a journal and draw my own dots. Just joking. I know they sell. Oh, Sophie. Sophie. Oh, I found it. Guys, I found it. <laughs> I found I it. Myself. 
I found it. How about myself, y'all? All right, so these are what we can choose from. $10 each. Yeah, 10 bucks. And that's not bad to get started. Mm -hmm. Live more, worry less. Or so to do, one? your to-do list, be awesome. So, um, I don't care. I don't oh, in the corner it's just dotted. Oh, okay. Dang. Dotted. Oh, we are All right, dotted. Well, stickers. Oh, okay, so there's three. One says inspire. On. All right, hold on, guys. Okay. And go like that with our eyes closed and whatever one we land on, we get. Okay, three. But wait, are they all the same price? Yep. Okay. They're all the same price, okay. Uh, tell me where to stop. Don't touch it with your hands. Tell three, two, one, stop. Oh, I like that one. I don't like that one. That's yeah, that's the one I like too. We both like the same one, but if I had to choose, I'd choose this one too. What? Later. Okay, so it is dark and dreary and awful outside. Sylvia and I bought all this stuff to do our bullet journals. So some of you guys are probably like, what the heck is a bullet journal? So basically it's a journal system and it's a blank sheet of paper, but it's hard to write things and keep things organized on a blank sheet of paper because not everybody can, can draw or write nicely on a blank sheet of paper. So it has all these little dots on them and it helps you to organize better. So you can have, you can set aside parts to write on, and then you can set aside parts to draw on, or put stickers on, or you can make it really fancy. It's called your own free will. It's called your own free will, right? Yes. <laughs> Essentially, it's such a good way to keep organized. People use it for setting goals. People use it for like diet information. People use it for things that they want to buy. It's just a way to keep your thoughts and ideas organized. Yeah, and I know it's like gone by the wayside lately. Any kind of journaling, people just use their cell phones. But for some people, being able to have this creative outlet really makes a difference. I'll try and show you some sample pages here, how people uh, designed their bullet journal to make it like so super individual and, and pretty and it's just kind of like a crafting thing and it helps to keep everything organized. Sophie and I got these little stands. This um this billet journal was my idea. Yeah I a few years ago tried to get the girls into billet journals but they were not into them they were too young and then Sophie saw it on TikTok and decided like she wanted to do one. Because it then, popping up on my for you page and I'm like I want to do yeah, and then as soon as she decided she wanted to do it, I'm like, oh, I want to do it. So we got these little stands, or these little things that we're going to put all of our journaling stuff in. We got markers, we got scissors, we got paper, we got tape. We've got the other one too. Yeah, like, like we got or... so many things, and we're going to hopefully keep you guys up to date I did on our journaling system. The tapes. Yeah, the tapes are really cool, because you can mark off, you can like divide sections of your book with the tape, I'm just using them today. Which is like my favorite thing. Like that tape, the tapes are my favorite thing. Years ago, I got into the Happy Planner. Do you guys remember the Happy Planner? It was like this planner that you bought. It was like $50 to buy the book. And it was, uh, mine was like for 18 months. It was a calendar. And then it came with all these stickers. And then you could buy more stickers. You could buy more tape. You could, the sky's the limit. And I got so into it. I did it every month. I used it for budgeting. I used it for... Um, my YouTube videos, I used it like for keeping track of everything. I loved that thing. And at, today when we were at the store, there were no kind of planners. There were, they had no planners anymore. So it's either because we're in a recession and Christmas just finished and they haven't restocked, but usually that's the biggest sale item in January are like planners. So my guess is that people just don't do it anymore because they use their phones or their computers. So anyways, that's our journey. That is our journey. And also I know that somebody asked if I could show them the wool stuff that I've been working on and I have been working on it and I did do some fun stuff with it, but then I got Christmas and I it was taking up so much space in our house. So I ended up having to put it away. I'm going to get that back out again. And I'm going to show you guys. The funniest thing happened you guys. So you guys know, like we always joke about having to wait for Gabby all the time. I have this light on my, oops. I have a light on my camera. I want to just lower it a bit. Okay, so you guys know how. I always joke about how we always have to wait for Gabby. Well, we got out of the house. Aw. We came out of the house and we drove down. We drove down to the to the barn because it's pouring rain. Not pouring, it's just dribbling, but it's just miserable and cold and yucky outside. Chino saw us out in the field. He saw us. Oh, he, he, he hears us. So, Chino saw us 
get come out of the house and all three of us got in the car. But then we had to wait for Gabby. Gina ran to the gate. He looked at the car, he looked at the barn. He was so excited, he was practically prancing. And then we were waiting for Gabby. <laughs> so we had to wait. So he finally, when he realized we weren't coming, he ran back to the shelter and went in. <laughs> but he's ready now. He's ready now. Oh my gosh, it made me laugh so hard. Because even the horses know we have to wait for Gabby. Hi, Pen. We're still waiting for Gabby. <laughs> Tell me your horse is a mare without telling me your horse is a mare. <laughs> All the other horses scatter when she doesn't like and, the other horses. And Honey just stands there. She doesn't like the other horses. She's telling them off. Ah. Dinner time and she knows it. And she okay. is grousy, grouchy, and a little okay. wet. It's literally been a dreary and rainy and awful all day. We've just been in the house. Sophie and I have been working on our bullet journals. I'll show you guys like in the next couple of days as we get more of it done. But honestly, I'm I've been getting so super frustrated with our setup here because we have buckets of stuff, we have shelves of stuff, and then we have these containers of stuff. And none of these containers are specifically for one thing. Like, it's just so frustrating. It's like... Honey goes to whoever who's the closest to her. Does she? Because dad was out there giving the others the grain. And honey went up to him and stood by his side. Really? Yeah, and then honey's like, oh, I'm going inside now. Yeah, it just sucks that and then she obviously went for the food first even though she's chunky so i said this yesterday and i'm going to say it again tomorrow is the day like today we ended up going shopping because sam had to run into so town we so we all went again tomorrow we're not going shopping again tomorrow tomorrow we are organizing this mess so sophie and i were looking at pictures of honey that we got that we have from before she got her winter coat so you guys know her parents are appaloosas and our blanket Appaloosas. So they have spots everywhere. And then they have like the white blanket on their butt. And then they have like the dark here, spots honey. on their... Come here. On... Oh. Hello, little baby. <laughs> See that you called? And then they have the dark spots See. on their bum. So That's honey... Love is peeking through her blanket. Yeah, she got wet. So we put her, her cooler on. But honey actually is covered in spots. So when she was like a smaller baby, when she was before she got her winter coat. When she was a baby, you could see in our pictures, you could see all her spots. Her legs are covered in spots. And then she had spots all on her flank and everywhere, but they're like dark brown spots on tan fur. So they're like, they're like hard to see, but she's definitely gonna look like her mom, except for not have the blanket. She's gonna have spots everywhere. Um, and be and she's gonna have like a lot of white and light colors in her like her mom see her belly there her mom's belly is white and her mom's legs up in here are all white and and the all up in here all up in here the mom is white too she she actually looks funny like she's <laughs> keeping an eye on us like you better not get back close to my food but we do go close to her food all the time and she's really good about it she did get mad once and then we said like no no you can't do that we made her move yeah, her feet pick it up and, stuff. and now we can pick it up and stuff and i filled up her hay ball too yeah she loves her hay ball don't you know that you're beautiful just